Hey guys, what's up? It's McNeil from uh, Louisa Automotive. And uh, today we're going to be talking about the consumer report that just came out uh, about the Tesla uh, autopilot system and how easy it was for them to bypass the system uh, according to the consumer report. Now, while I'm making these videos, I'm just a little bit tired and frustrated about the media just trying to constantly attack Tesla uh, when no matter which way you slice it, they're actually making cars safer for us to drive if you use it right. So the media announced or the media reported that no one was in the driver's seat of the Tesla car that crashed in Texas and immediately assumed that, well, it must have been an autopilot and the autopilot fail and, and all of that kind of jazz. Um, and also reported it took tons of water to out the fire. It took hours upon hours uh, to out the fire, which the fire chief did come out and say that's uh, bullshit on that, basically, that the fire was out within minutes, apparently. Um, then Elon Musk also tweeted and say that uh, that particular car and customer did not buy the full cell driving um, system. So the car was not on autopilot um, on the new self-driving um, feature when it crashed. Then consumer report went out and made a hit piece on Tesla. And that's what pissed me off. So they're showing that you just put a little cable with weights. They use some um, duct tape and show that they weighted the, the steering wheel. Um, they show in that uh, they activate the cruise control, the seatbelt buckle behind his back and then shift to the other side. Um, and then the car was able to keep driving. So good for you. They were able to trick the system. So what is annoying by this is, are you saying Tesla cars are unsafe because you were able to trick the system? You think you're keeping consumers safer because you just did what you did? Instead, you just showed a bunch of more dumbasses how they can bypass the system and how they can put their life at risk. So good job for that consumer report. It's not fair to be blaming Tesla for some people making bad decisions with their life when if they use the system properly, they can actually be better drivers, the car can be safer, and there can be less accidents on the road if you use the product as it was designed to use and not try to bypass and try to figure out how you can trick the system. If you take a look at this dumbass here in this video here, he's bypassing Ford's cruise control, I guess, by jumping out the window and, and doing this bullshit here. Uh, should we sue Ford or say short Ford should have some cameras in the car to make sure that people don't do stupid shit like this? People will make bad choices no matter what. Now we need to stop blaming the manufacturer who's actually trying to make cars safer because one or two individuals are willing to try to bypass the system and put their life at risk and don't want to take accountability for it and blame the company. This is just my piece. This is me telling the consumer report that maybe the report could have shown if you use Tesla system, how it was designed to be used, the car would actually be safer. And it's not a smart idea to actually try to show people how they can bypass the system and how if there is a camera watching you, that would make a difference because I'm pretty sure if people want to be stupid, they can find a way to bypass that too. Maybe they'll take a picture of their face and put it near the camera and try to trick that too. If somebody wants to be stupid, they will be stupid. So uh, just want to say my two piece on that. And um, uh, Basically, Tesla cars and all the data has shown that if the system is used correctly, it is actually safer. It is safer to use a driver assist than to have a rookie driver, I guess. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, I'll catch you in the next one.